Hello there, welcome to Cards and Clarity Tarot, and thank you so much for being here. This is going to be a general weekly reading for anyone connecting with a Leo. So this could be a Leo sun, moon rising, or Venus sign. Uh, you might even be a Leo yourself if you're familiar with tarot and the way the energy works. I'm sure you understand that even if you are a Leo who's connecting with, who's not connecting with another Leo, this reading can still resonate with you. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns regarding time frames, energies, things of that nature, all of that stuff should be addressed within the description box down below. So I'm going to go ahead and lay the spread out, and I'll explain the way it's organized organized as I go, okay? Okay, so I feel like the Leo you're connecting with, um, they're, the card that's coming out for them, okay, to represent them, is the King of Swords. So I feel like they're a very honest individual, but I don't feel like they're very, just the other things that are coming up here, I don't feel like they um, are really honest with themselves, if that makes sense. This is Aquarian energy with this card, by the way. Um, they're dominant outward traits, so this is how others view them. Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ace of Pentacles. All right, so they're adventurous. They're always looking for a new path here. They're very committal. They're very loyal as well. Others see them <clears throat> as very hardworking. Ace of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Ace of Wands is showing up. Um, I feel like this is a very sexually driven individual. It's a Leo. Come on. Uh, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. All right. So this is something that others might not see in them. Okay. I feel like this is something that they keep... Um, hush hush about themselves uh, even though it's nothing to be ashamed of but it just doesn't seem like it's something that comes out with this individual they seem very serious very um like they just are all about work is what i feel like saying here like they're all about other things two of wands is showing up is how they view love in a general sense aries energy with this card okay so i feel like they're indecisive but they also take the lead when it comes to um passion all right so i feel like I feel like they're indecisive in regards to love, but in regards to, like, passion, um, I feel like they go for that, all right? But I feel like that's something they do in private, if that makes sense. Justice card, you might be a Libra. You don't have to be. But this is coming up as how they're handling this connection. So they appear to be giving to it equally, is what I feel like saying here. Um, their intentions are the Ten of Cups, okay? Piscean energy. Uh, their goal is the Empress, all right? So I feel like they want to grow with you. They want to expand. They want happiness with you, okay? They want to take, this is Mars and Pisces. They want to take the initiative here to have this Ten of Cups. They want to take the initiative here to grow. They want to give um, equally here. I feel like this is a person who is like, generally speaking, in connections, who is all about sex. But I honestly feel like um, here in this connection, it seems to be different, all right? But I feel like they don't seem to know that at this time, okay? Does that make sense? So Queen of Pentacles is coming up as how they appear to be uh, handling this internally. So I do think they're nurturing this, but they're in their head about it with the Queen of Pentacles. This is Capricorn energy, all right? Uh, you could also be a Taurus or a Libra with the Empress, but Queen of Pentacles, she's Capricorn energy. But I do feel like uh, they're serving this connection internally, uh, but I don't think they're used to, to being... Um, committal, all right? I don't think they're used to being committal. They're used to being this adventurous, passionate individual, right? Um, but Queen of Pentacles showing up is how they're how they're uh, handling this. They are nurturing it, but I feel like they're very in their head about it. Coming up is a risk, uh, as what's at risk? The Four of Swords, okay? So I feel like they're they're avoiding this, all right? They're, they're um, avoiding their emotions here is what I feel like saying. Coming up as an obstacle is the Four of Wands, all right? So it's like they want commitment, but at the same time, they're just I feel like they're just unsure on how to act because this is how they view love in a general sense, okay? Two of Wands, you know, he's not picking a lane here, right? So I feel like this person needs to pick a lane. Is it the Ace of Wands or is it the Ace of Pentacles? Because it seems to me like what they want with you over here is the Ace of Pentacles, okay? They want commitment. They want stability. But it seems on the same token that they're a very passionate individual and I feel like they're more leaning towards that side of things, okay? Because an obstacle is the four of wands, really. That's commitment, okay? Uh, to me, it's stability, right? So um, I think they're avoiding this, all right? I think that they think about you a lot, all right? They want to nurture the connection, but it's just not something they're used to, okay? Page of wands is showing up as the actions they're going to take. So I think they're going to continue to communicate with you passionately, but they're probably not going to offer any emotion, is what I feel like saying here. I don't feel like they're going to offer you any emotion, okay? So that's what I feel like, yeah, see, Knight of Wands. I don't feel like this person is, uh, like, a player necessarily, but I just feel, once again, like they're really attracted to you, okay? The Empress is showing up here. I feel like they're really attracted to you more so than the emotion of things, see? The full card, Aquarian energy. This person, 
I just feel like this Leo doesn't want to settle down yet. They're not ready to settle down yet, even though they know that they want to settle down with you. So that's what I feel like is happening here with you and the Leo that you're connecting with. I know it was kind of all over the place, but that's what I was getting here. Um, so I hope that you enjoyed this reading. If so, please give it a thumbs up, comment, share, subscribe. Um, if it didn't resonate, you could always try back next week. Um, either way, thank you so much for watching and have a great week.